I've kind of gone too far with getting comfortable in my life and seeking these sorts of comforts and taking these scary amounts of mushrooms made me realize that it wasn't really in my best interest to be so comfortable all the time and to put myself in a situation where I'm literally scared to lose my life. It made me understand the things that I value the most. And so it, it pinpointed these things in my life, such as the relationships with my parents, the relationships with my siblings, the relationship with my friends. And so I started to sort of, you know, in the midst of crying because I thought I was going to die and understanding the the pain and kind of focusing on the, on the pain where everything stemmed from, you know, I started to sort of see the magic within this, this journey. And more and more, I started experimenting after that, you know, I, I took a chance and went into the jungle and did ayahuasca and fast forward, I, you know, I volunteered in the jungle for several months and I did ayahuasca many times. And I went on this journey of self-healing and eventually I did learn how to heal. I, I did heal myself. I, I figured it out. I was so devoted to the process of healing that I actually got what I wanted. And because I got to the point where I was no longer focused on healing because I had healed at least my physical body, you know, coming from the point where I realized that that physical pain that I was suffering from, it wasn't really that physical. I was feeling it physically, but it was actually an emotional pain that I was struggling with, understanding the relationships that I had sort of evolved and gotten comfortable with and taken for granted in my, in, in my upbringing. I'm getting and confused so, about, I'm sorry, I'm going to just stop you for a second sure. because, um, I'm hearing that there's this kind of theme of physical pain um, that was trying to get your attention and, you know, teach you something that had, had emotion trapped in it. And then there's this other theme of you were too comfortable. Can you help me understand that? Sure. So I was too comfortable in the sense of, you know, sort of laziness of not doing my best and sort of giving like just enough to get by, you know, like in school, you just do enough to get by just enough to get a passing grade, just enough to, you know, just, just enough to not to get fired, you know, like, and so you get comfortable in just doing just enough to get, to get by. And so there's a, a sort of comfort in that because I can do just enough to get by, but because of momentum doing just enough to get by sort of makes me lazy like i don't give my best and so when i'm not doing my best it that's where the pain stems from and it started manifesting in physical pain you know like i was walking lazy and doing things in a lazy manner where it manifested into my body sort of physically hurting does that make sense uh, yeah, it does actually. And it it's reminding me, I do feel like these are exactly the kinds of things that are revealed on plant medicine. Um, it's reminding me of being on ayahuasca at, at one point and being shown this pattern in my body where I wasn't fully standing up straight. Mm -hmm. And I was shown, you know, the me that wasn't standing up straight. And I was shown the me that should be standing up straight and it was you know really kind of like simple things like when you walk to pick up your children you know and it was it was a small adjustment but they were just showing me just like hold your head a little bit higher straighten your back you know stand tall be in your truth but you know I mean it has it's a it's a small adjustment that has huge kind of implications right because it's how you're showing up in the world and I think we just, you know, blind spots are always appearing in the human experience. I mean, it's part of the human experience. We cannot see uh, everything all the time, especially when it comes to ourselves, right? So it, there are always going to be blind spots. Um, but I think when it comes to the body and old patterns of 
pain and the stories that we carry about ourselves, it's very hard to see these things without some significant help. Now that might be from another person or it might be from a psychedelic or it might be from, you know, some completely new experience, but, but we have to do something to shake up our patterns. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. So all this entire journey of self-healing led to me making a new friend who literally pointed this out to me. He, he said, you can change the way you walk. Like there's this way of walking called gait where you're essentially walking from your core. And so you're, you're essentially kind of clenching your butt and walking like, like harder from your core. Instead of being like out in the limbs, you're walking close and tight. And literally, not too long after I adapted this is when I really noticed. I mean, of course, I was doing yoga and doing other things that, you know, I was adapting to strengthen my core, but really it stemmed from that. And so I, that's when I realized like, oh, I've just been walking lazy and it's been sort of to my detriment. Well, but now I can adapt a new way of walking and it's really taking a, a big impact on me where I can notice it. It's so funny to me that... um I think the perception of psychedelics from people who haven't really taken them is so different than the the actual experience. Like, you know, there's this sort of um, idea that psychedelics take you to these crazy places and you have these far out experiences and you do, sure, um, non-ordinary states of consciousness, but it feels like all the findings are the most simple things you can imagine. Be true to yourself, stand up straight, be a good person, you know, it's just like, it's so it's funny to me. It's practical. It's practical <laughs> magic. That's exactly what it is. Is exactly what it, I mean, I think if you're lucky enough to have basic sanity, I mean, one of the big parts of my journey with psychedelics was sort of pushing it and pushing it until, I mean, in a way, my, you know, similar to you, you know, pushing the higher doses, I was trying this and trying that and, you know, doing it with these people, these people, or, you know, I was, uh, in retrospect, it feels a little reckless, but what I was looking for really was to see that I was sane or insane. And I remember one journey, I kind of actually saw the structure of my sanity and I was like, oh, I've got basic sanity. And you know what? That's a real gift. Um, I don't think you know, it's like some people have strong bones, you know, some people have that basic sanity wired in them. And for other people, it's a little bit more tricky. So, um, you know, everyone has the different ways to heal and grow. And I'm not saying my path is for, for everyone. Um, it's, it's easier to go on wild journeys if you've got, you know, a home base to come back to. Sometimes you don't know if you've got that home base until you try. <laughs> so therein lies the rub. 